Ready? Ready? Put this down now and stop my video. It's like super light. I could pick it up with my pinky. That was such a lie. Are you ready, Elle? Hey guys, what's up? As many of you know, I am currently running around the world on The Amazing Race with my dad, and I wanted to go ahead and film the video of what is in my Amazing Race bag and have Elle upload it for you guys while I'm gone, because I've kind of been struggling to pack this, and when I went online, not a lot of past contestants have really given a detailed list of what they've taken. They've given like a couple items that they were like, this came in really handy, or I didn't end up using this, but I couldn't find a list of like every single thing that someone took and what they thought about it. A lot of things I read on different blogs that people had written about their experience was that they actually ended up throwing away like the majority of what they took with them just to make their pack lighter. So I have kind of a large pack, but compared to some of the other ones that I've seen people take on, it's actually not as big, but it's pretty heavy to me. And so I think I'm gonna go through and kind of narrow things down a little bit more. So I'm gonna carry this on my back around the world, running. Cool, let's do it. So this is my backpack right here. It looks very, very huge. It is the Osprey Aura 50 AG, and it is the gray one that has little purple tabs, which actually worked out perfectly because we're the gray team, even though um, I would have had this bag no matter what because it was the one that felt best on me and that I could carry the most weight in it comfortably. Sorry, that was my phone. So. That is the bag that I have. And then on the top right here, you can actually have the hip pack, which attaches right to the top so you can carry it. And this has all my toiletries and anything that I wanna have really quick, easy access to. So I'll go through that at the end because that's probably, I don't know, I'm stressed out about that because it's heavy and I need to get rid of some of like the makeup and stuff, but I really don't want to. I'm actually not taking that much makeup, so I was surprised. So I'll get started on what is in the actual suitcase, but something really interesting that I found out when I you know, started going through the process of getting ready for the race is they don't give you a packing list. They give you a packing list of what you can't bring, and then they basically say pack for any weather condition and carry it with you. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so there weren't like a lot of guidelines of what to go on, so that's why I did so much research and there wasn't anything like this out there. So because we are going during November and December, I packed some warmer clothes that I can really layer up and get myself really warm, but also some lightweight clothes if we go somewhere that is hot and a uh, swimsuit and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and get started. This is the heaviest jacket I'm taking and it actually is really, really light and it's gray, so I was excited about that. This jacket on its own probably wouldn't keep me super warm, but because I have so many things to layer with it, um, I think it's gonna be okay. And I actually went a size up in the jacket so that I can have a lot of stuff bundled underneath it and it'll still zip and fit and stuff. So I have that. And then the next thing I have is a little Ziploc baggie and I have three t-shirts, two gray ones and a very light pink one. A couple, this is one, two, three, four pullovers. And two of them are very lightweight and airy and I can almost wear them in the sun and kind of use it as a sun shield if we're outside for a really long time. And it's not gonna kind of make me hot if you get what I mean. And then the top two are a little bit thicker and they are really good for layering, like I said, under the jacket. And then the next thing I have is three tank tops. So I have a gray one, a purple one, and a pink one. Then I have two sports bras and then the sports bra that I am wearing. So I'm only taking three bras total. Another thing that I learned when I was kind of researching what everyone takes on the race is what you do about laundry. A lot of people said that they actually ended up throwing away most of the clothes that they took with them and just kept two outfits, one to be wearing and one to be cleaning. And they were like, you would be surprised we would in the bathroom at the airport while we were waiting on our airplane, we would go like wash our underwear in the sink and stuff. And I was thinking about it and I was like, that makes sense. I mean, you can't p carry that much stuff with you. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be hand washing a lot of this stuff it seems like. I have two pair of capri leggings and two pair of longer leggings and one pair of shorts. 
I have a travel blow dryer. I have a little baggie that has extra hair ties and headband and bobby pins. The blow dryer has dual voltage and then I have an adapter that can plug in depending on what country we're in. Same thing, I'm taking my T3 Whirl Twirl uh, barrel, the medium one that I showed you guys in the video I did, I'm taking that one and it has auto voltage so it automatically converts to the voltage when it's plugged in but you do have to have the converter so I mean the adapter so I have the adapter I don't have to take a converter with me um, and then I have the glove for it and yeah that's all that is in this bag and then I have clean socks and panties this is my base layer so this is really really great thermal where I have long pants and a long shirt that can go under or over something that you're wearing and will just create a really, really warm layer. So that is everything that is in this top section of my bag. Next thing we have is in the bottom section, which you can actually get to to the top. There's a little divider that you can unhook, but it is the sleeping bag compartment that fits way more than just my sleeping bag. Now the first thing is my luxury kit. These are things that I really, really, really want, but if I have to throw them away, I understand, but like I really, really want them. I have one sheet face mask to do. It's a super hydrating one, maybe like halfway through the race I'll do it on the plane. And then I have my black charcoal cleansing cloths, which are really good to clean out like dirty, sweaty pores and stuff. And then I have two spare razors just in that bag. Over here, I have my sleeping bag liner. I have my extras kit. So this is extras of my tick and insect repellent wipes, tampons, uh, band-aids, some laundry wash, stuff like that. So that's just my extras. And then I have a travel pillow. And I really liked this one because it could like fold up really small and I can clip it and hang it on the bag if I want to. And then this is my sleeping bag is in here in this tiny little thing. My sleeping bag I think weighs two pounds, one ounce, and then this bag weighs, I don't know, it's the Sea to Summit uh, even waterproof compression sack. It can't go any tighter than that. I like compressed it as far as it'll go. Oh, I got it a little more. Um, yeah, so I think the compression sack weighs maybe around like five or six ounces. So this is like super duper light. Then I have my cold weather gear. So I have a beanie, gloves, a little like thick headband that will cover my ears and a pair of wool socks. And then I have my swim. So this is the first time in a long time that I am actually going to wear a one piece. So I've seen on a lot of the episodes they'll on like swimming challenges or whatever they'll have underwater cameras to get that cool shot like right when you jump in the water and you break the water and they get you like coming in and stuff and it looks really cool but all I can think about is how anxious and self-conscious I would be about jumping in and thinking like, oh, there's like a cameraman down there. What if my top comes up or my bottoms fall off or something? So I got a Speedo Performance One Piece and a pair of Aquasphere uh, goggles, which I have been using for probably like four months now while training and I really like them. I've been swimming laps up in my pool and people walk by and they're just like going out to sunbathe and I'm over there like swimming laps, yeah. Then I have a packet towel. And then that's all that's out here. That's pretty much it in this front section. I have a pair of flip flops for the shower. They're really old. So if I need to toss them somewhere, I totally can. I'm not gonna miss them. And then on this side right here, I have some sunglasses. These were a dollar and 99 cents on clearance at Love Culture. So if I break them or if I lose them or something, I'm not gonna be super upset about it. And there are two little compartments up here. So on this first one, I have a lip balm, a lip tint, I am a beauty guru after all, contact case, my little baggie that has some bobby pins and hair ties in it. Oops, I dropped that. A compact mirror so that I can do, you know, touch up my makeup when I have free time on the plane or anything like that. And then I have a little spoolie to brush out my eyelash extensions because I don't like when they get all wonky looking. And I typically am not one that is 
crazy for eyelash extensions, but for something like this, I didn't want to worry about having to put on mascara and having it run while I sweat and like get wet and stuff. So I just wanted to not have to deal with it and make my pack lighter because I don't have to carry all that eyelash stuff. And so yeah, I have eyelash extensions on right now and I hope they last me <laughs> as long as I'm on the race. This is a travel eye mask and earplugs because when you can sleep, you need to sleep. I have a sunscreen stick, SPF 50. I've got a bunch of band-aids because I know our feet are going to be just completely cut up. I have these three items that I wanted to show you guys. The first one is the baseball cap that I'm taking or baseball style cap I'm taking. It's a Lorna Jane vegan leather baseball cap, but the inside isn't leather. It's like a really breathable material somehow. So I'm actually really impressed with this and excited to have it. And then I have a purple tank top with a gray pullover, which I think is what I'm gonna wear with a pair of leggings on the very first day. So that's why that wasn't packed up in my bag. The last thing to show you is what is on this hip belt, which goes on top of my bag and it has basically my toiletries and anything that I need easy, quick access to. So on this front section, I have my glasses, I have a plain notebook, nothing can be written in it yet, absolutely plain with a pen and pencil and pencil sharpener. I have an emergency poncho. I have some wet one, wet, wet wipes. I have two tampons. I have a spare set of contacts. I have the bin wipes that are the insect and tick repellent ones that I have a lot of extra ones at the bottom of my bag. I have the Sea to Summit Pocket Laundry Wash. Look at how cute these little things are. They are little tiny thin strips of laundry wash soap and you just take one or two or however many you need for how soiled your clothing is and that's a really great way to travel with some laundry detergent. And then I have nail clippers and I'm taking a lot of liquids. I'm probably gonna get in trouble with the airline and have to throw some out, but I'm gonna take my chances and see what happens um, because I've traveled with more liquids than like you're supposed to before and they didn't say anything um, because I think technically like makeup liquids still count as liquid liquids, but if you wanted all of that in one pint size baggie, like that ain't happening. So. In here, I have my gadgets. This is probably my favorite little kit. And these we are allowed to take. They didn't tell us to, but they didn't tell us we couldn't. So I'm taking a solar and battery powered calculator, a headlamp, and this is a compass. You can take a simple compass, but you can't take like a GPS compass. Um, it's a compass, a magnifying glass. It has a mirror and binoculars. Oh my gosh. I have cotton squares and Q-tip. My toothbrush with a cap on it. I have, this is part of my makeup, that's part of my makeup, I'll do that very last. I have my hairbrush, this is a little travel Sephora size hairbrush. I have my dry shampoo that is a powder, so it doesn't count as a liquid or it's not like a spray or anything like that, so it's just the powder that you shake onto your hair. Then I have my official liquids kit. So this is shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, hairspray, it's a tin, hair like stuff, whatever that stuff is, face toner, contact solution, and uh, eye drops like re-wetting drops, spare contacts, and toothpaste. And the biggest thing I was concerned about is how can you go that long with only like one little travel size of toothpaste or something like that and they said not to worry about it that they do give you enough money to where you can have the necessities the shampoo conditioner toothpaste type of stuff um, because you can't carry enough on in the carry on size bag so this is like my official liquid and then I have my makeup liquid so if they say anything about how I have to combine them I'm just I don't know, I'm just gonna have to go like makeup list or something. But I have soap, foundation, I have a lipstick, I have a, Mar a NARS multiple, I have concealer, I have a sunscreen, like special face sunscreen. I do have a liquid um, or waterproof mascara in case I want it, I don't know. Um, I have, yeah, I think that's um, some eyeliner, stuff like that. So that's kind of like, I guess, my liquid. Like I even have like, 
eyeliners and stuff in here, but like, does that count as a liquid? Technically, I'm not sure. So I have that separated in case I have to go through it quickly and like get rid of some of it. And then in this one, I have any of my powder makeup. So my powder, my bronzer, uh, my eyeshadow, my brow powder, and any of my tools. So I'm only taking one, two, three, four, five, six makeup brushes and a beauty blender. I'm just saying, to go around the world, I'm pretty proud of myself. So that is all I have in my bag so far. Like I said, I might add a couple things or tweak the bag just a little bit, but for the most part, I think that is my travel bag. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sending positive vibes out to the universe for my dad and I. I hope we are still kicking booty on the race. And yeah, I will talk to you guys when I get back. Bye.